what is cracking with you youtube it has been a minute since i dropped a video shout out to aj and big nate i was pretty much shut down man um under the weather finally feeling uh 100 percent as of two days ago um when i was in vegas Work, works at work issues or whatever um but we back we back we back um i've been busy been down here uh spending the summer with my daughter while she down here um i finally get a chance to get a video in and let's talk about it everybody's talking about the kevin durant Kevin Durant situ situation, Kevin Dur Durant requesting the trade. But this is not what well, this is what they not really saying about that issue. You got you on the team with no potential. I mean, yeah, y'all got to the playoffs and y'all got swept, but y'all really don't have no coach. The Nets really don't have a coach. Um, they really don't don't have a bench that can come in and and uh get anything going when Durant gotta take a breather. He pretty much the offense and the defense. Um, you had Kyrie Irving, who didn't even play half of the damn season. You had James Harden that was a shell of himself and out of shape, and he wind up leaving. And then you pick up Ben Simmons, a guy that don't know if he want to play basketball. <laughs> Man, the NBA is just full of crap. Um so yeah, I can see why he wanted to request a trade. Get me out of here. Get me with a team that got some structure. You got Steve Nash, a dude that don't really have no coaching uh, resume. You pretty much with an organization that has just switched the owners. I think it's like the third time they didn't switch the owners of the team. Uh what is Kevin Durant supposed to do? He not he not about to stick around and waste his years um, with an organization trying to figure it out that don't have no no uh, basketball like minds in the building. So I could see him requesting a trade. He's probably going to go to. He's probably going to stay with a team in the East. He's probably going to go to a team that has a real coach, um, has some structure, has a point guard, um, and don't have no issues with dealing with vaccine mandates and the city of New York is just wild as hell right now under this, uh, under former Vice President Biden's administration. Um, so yeah, I could I could see Kevin Durant going to a place where it's going to be a lot more, uh, a lot a, a better structure, a better structure. Same thing with Kyrie Irving. They went over there and Kyrie tried to say, "Oh, we don't need no coach. We could do we could coach ourselves. We know the game of basketball, but you need a coach, man. You need a coach. That's very important with any team." You got to have a coach that's going to say the right things and put the right things in, 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 in the player's mind and ear to get the to get the best out of, to get the best out of them. And you're not going to do that with Steve Nash, who's trying to learn how to be a coach. You know, um, I don't know where KD is going to end up. Uh, somebody's somebody's going to have to sacrifice some players and some picks to get KD. And they're gonna have to take on his four-year uh, his four-year contract. Um, Kyrie he opted in, but I could see the Nets trading him. You know, everybody is saying that the his biggest his biggest uh, landing spot will probably be the Lakers if he does get traded. Um, I don't know where the Lakers gonna find that kind of money to pay. Uh, West, you're gonna have to trade Westbrook. If we bring it in, Ky if the Lakers bring in Kyrie, they're gonna have to trade Westbrook to the uh, to the Charlotte to the Charlotte Hornets. That's just how it's gonna have to happen. Westbrook is gonna have to leave. Do I want to see Westbrook leave? No, I don't. I don't want to see Westbrook leave the Lakers for Kyrie Irving. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what kind of Kyrie Irving you're gonna get. Is he gonna? 
step up to the plate and um, put his psyche and plan for the memory of Kobe Bryant, which I really want. I really want to get into Kobe Bryant, man. Make some Kobe Bryant videos, but y'all not gonna like what I have to say about Kobe Bryant. You Kobe fans, y'all not gonna like what I have to say, man. Y'all, y'all just not gonna like what I have to say about Kobe Bryant. Great basketball player, but when you start going down the rabbit hole of, of Kobe Bryant and who he was and the kind of things he was into, it's shocking and disturbing, man. It really is. It's shocking and disturbing. And I'm going to just leave that where it is. But back to Kevin Durant. Um, no matter where Kevin Durant go, he's going he's gonna to be the dog. You know, he gonna, he, he's going to be the best player on the, on the team. You just got to give him a bench and some players that's uh, – that's willing to ball with them, man. You can't be having these guys out here that's playing with injuries and guys that's not gonna be playing because of their beliefs. And you know, you gonna have you got to have guys around Kevin Durant that want to hoop, dudes that just want to play basketball. Um, so, with that being said, man, that's my spiel on the whole deal. Um, shout out to the whole Wolfpack. I know a lot of people was expecting me to make a Packer video, but right as of right now, I don't have shit to say about the greatest the greatest football team in sports history. There ain't shit to talk about right now. I know uh training camp is coming up, I think uh soon. Um you know, we still waiting to see what kind of moves will any any late moves that will be made for this roster, who we could bring in, uh, you know, who who we could, you know, free agencies that's free agents that still left um trying to find a a job for the year so we don't know until some breaking news happen with the Packers that's when I'll drop something but as of right now it's the NBA free agency and that's what we on right now so um yeah shout out to the Lakers picking up the guys that they pick up hopefully they can you know um get LeBron James to sign his uh two-year extension but I doubt he will I think LeBron James is probably gonna go probably play this this next season and then negotiate something on a year-to-year basis with the Lakers knowing that he's stepping into his 20th season of his career. So, yeah, man, I'm out.